हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा Hare 
गोपाल जय जय राधा रमण हरे गोविंद जय जय राधा रमण हरे गोविंद जय जय हे गोविंद जय गोपाल के शव माधव दीन जय गोपाल के शव माधव दीन वैष्णव वृंद की श्रील प्रभुपाद की ओम ज्ञान ज्ञानांजन शलाकया चक्षुवन्मील तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित येन भूतले स्वयं रूप कदा मह्यम ददा स्वपदातिक वंदे हम श्री गुरो श्री युतपद कमल श्री गुरून वैष्णवांश श्री रूप साग्र जा सह गण रघुनाथ तम सजीव साइत सवदूत पिजना सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य श्रीराधा कृष्ण पदा सह गण ललिता श्री विशाखान्ताश्च नम ओं विष्णुपादा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामीनाम नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्यदेशिणे नम महावदल्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदा ते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाने गौरत्षे नम हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीन बंधो जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका का राधा का नमस्ते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरिप्रि वाछाकलपतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे पिक्चर ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय 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 ओम नमो भगवते
ನಾರಾಯಣಂ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ್ಯ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯಮಧೀರೇ ನಷ್ಟ ಪ್ರಾಯೇಶ್ವಭದ್ರೇಶ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಭಾಗವತ ಸೇವೆಯ ಭಗವತ್ಯುತ್ತಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕೆ ಭಕ್ತಿರ್ಭವತಿ ನೈಷ್ಟಿಕಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ದೇವಕೀ ನಂದನಾಯ ಚ ನಂದಗೋಪಕುಮಾರಾಯ ಗೋವಿಂದಾಯ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ welcome all of you this was the last thing i was speaking yesterday in the picture you can show that mm. so shukadev goswami is admiring these covered boys of braj vrindavan mm. how blessed are these boys uh, they are living with god on an equal platform uh, sometimes massaging krishna's lotus feet sometimes tending to the cows along with krishna sometimes playing games with him in the forest on the other hand the gnanis and yogis they can only see the shining to uh, shine coming from the tip of the toenail of krishna pantastu koti shata vatsara sampragamyo vayo rata api manaso muni pungavanam sopyasti yat prapadasi imya vichintya tatve govindam adi purusham tamaham bhajam ibrahma ji saying Uh, oh even the greatest of the himalayan rishis uh, who are meditating on the lord who can travel at the speed of mind uh, he is not only saying muni muni pungava is saying leaders of the munis um, somebody can travel at the speed of you know wind or travel at the speed of light uh, which is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second um, and much more faster than that is traveling in the speed of mind um, so he says that even if a muni rishi can travel at the speed of mind from one place to another he can disappear in one place and reappear in another place even such a person can at the most see the shining tip of the toe nail of krishna he is saying the brahma jyoti emanating from his body because they are all gnanis and yogis whereas the covered boys they have gone beyond the brahma jyoti to the into the spiritual planets vaikuntha planets and the topmost of the vaikuntha planet is goloka vrindavan so i am going to show you one shloka about goloka vrindavan yeah you can see this here this is from narada pancharatra shiva narada samvad it's a narada what he is saying shiva is telling narada naiva krishna paro gnani ನಾ ಯೋಗಿ ಚ ತತ್ಪರ ಬಿಲೋ ಹೈ ಗಿವನ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಸೇ ಹಿಯರ್ ನಾ ಇವ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾತ್ ಪರೋ ಜ್ಞಾನಿ ನೋ ಬಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ಇನ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ದನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಎ ನಾ ಯೋಗಿ ಚ ತತ್ಪರ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ಯೋಗಿ ದನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ನಾ ಇವ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾತ್ ಪರ ಸಿದ್ಧ ನೋ ಬಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ಸಿದ್ಧ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ದನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ತತ್ಪರೋಪಿ ನಹಿ ಈಶ್ವರ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಗಾಡ್ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ದನ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಂಗ್ ನಾ ತತ್ಪರಶ್ಚ ಜನಕೋ Uh, for the welfare of the people nobody can do better than him vishvesham paripalaka there is no maintainer uh, paripalaka in this world better than krishna he maintains all the 8.4 million species natat parascha balavan nobody has greater strength than him buddhiman kirtiman tatha nobody has intelligence or fame more than krishna natat paras satyavadi nobody can excel him in truth dayavan bhakta vatsalah nobody can exceed him in compassion or showing affection to his own loving devotees like arjuna pandavas prahlad all of them natat parascha gunavan nobody is greater than him in qualities sushilascha jitendriya in good behavior and sense control like this shiva is glorifying uh, lord krishna and then this is from the narada pancharatra shiva narada samvad and then this is the ganesh telling parashuram this is a very special Uh, quote from brahma vaivarta puran hmm? eastern division ganapati kanda the chapter shloka all numbers are mentioned here yato bhavanti vishwani i think i've given the meaning of that below first we'll read the shloka here yato bhavanti vishwani stula sukshma adikani cha punastatra praliyanta evam eva muhurmuhu is telling you know lord krishna uh, from lord krishna only the gross and subtle worlds and universes have come yato bhavanti yato means from whom ha bhavanti vishwani stula sukshma adi kanicha which means 
the grass and settle uh, elements have come from him punas tatra praliyanta again they are all uh, subjected to pralaya destruction evam eva muhur muhu again and again srishti pralaya srishti pralaya it keeps happening bhutva bhutva praliyate like that then what he says here you see goloka urdvam vaikunthat panchasha panchashat koti yojana he say see here 50 crore yojanas above vaikuntha goloka is situated he says nasti lokastat urdvam cha beyond that there is no other planet beyond the goloka he say nasti krishna para prabhu beyond krishna there is no prabhu which means there is no master beyond krishna krishna is the ultimate god he say idam shrutam shambhu vaktran this i heard from the mouth of my father shambhu he is saying maya te katitam that i have told you now like that ganesha is telling to uh, parashurama huh? it is in brahma vayurta puran so here is information about vaikuntha and goloka and uh, 50 crore yojanas above vaikuntha is goloka the information is given this is the destination of the krishna devotees like all of us huh? we are aiming at goloka this is the place in the same manner you know then there is also shiva is telling narada same brahma vayurta puran rasaishwaram surasikam radha vakshastala sthitam evam rupam arupam tam mune dhyayanti vaishnava ha is saying uh, lord krishna is the master of the rasa dance surasikam is very sportive and playful he is saying radha vakshastala sthitam he he always he, you know he resides in the heart of shrimati radha rani evam rupam arupam tam mune he there are rishis who are impersonalist and personalist ultimately both of them dhyayanta dhyayanti vaishnavaha ultimately they all become vaishnavas they worship the lotus feet of krishna only satatam dheyam asmakam parasmat manam ishwaram aksharam paramam brahma bhagavantam sanatanam he is saying that their parmatma is the same controller who is worthy of meditation by us he is addressed as imperishable parabrahma and sanatan bhagavan like that uh, shiva is telling narada about krishna being a ra- master of the rasa dance uh, this way descriptions are available now durga devi is speaking to on vaishya in brahma vayurta puran uh, that is another verse see saptasagara samyukta saptadvipa vasundhara tad ada saptapatalah swarlokas chaiva saptacha she is describing Uh, this thing see she is talking about patala planets above the sargulaka planets below and then above swarga and below patala and then she goes on this way there are varieties of divinity is created by brahma vishnu mahesh but lord krishna is the lord of all you will see that word also evam vishvam bahuvidam brahmandam brahmanakritam pratyekam sarva vidyante brahma vishnu shiva adeha sarvesham ishwara krishna iti she is saying sarvesham ishwarah krishna iti gyanam paratparam for all of them krishna is the lord master uh, and vedanam cha pratanam cha tirtanam tapasam tatha devanam chaiva punyanam sarak krishna iti smritah by studying the vedas by going, traveling to all the holy tirthas by all the devatas also is worshiped ultimately the essence is lord krishna only hmm. bhakti hino yo mudah such a jeevan mrito dhruvam one who is not a bhakta one who is not a devotee of lord krishna he, he becomes a mood a foolish person uh, and he, he is uh, he is devoid of krishna bhakti he is considered dead that is his telling so in this way and there are four special qualities of sri krishna over narayana uh, this is also from the puranas uh, brought by uh, from the puranas extracted by our rupa goswami see here he is saying ಸರ್ವಾತ್ಮಚಮತ್ಕಾರ ಲೀಲಾ ಕಲ್ಲೋಳ ವಾರಿ ಅತುಲ್ಯ ಮಧುರ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಮಂಡಿತ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮಂಡಲ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮಾಧುರಿಯ ಸರ್ ದರ್ ಇನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದರ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸರ್ವ ಅದ್ಭುತ ಚಮತ್ಕಾರ ಲೀಲಾ ಕಲ್ಲೋಳ ವಾರಿ ಕಲ್ಲೋಳ ಮೀನ್ ಸಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ ಓಷನ್ ಯು ಸಿ ವೇವ್ಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ದಿಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸರ್ ಯು ಸೀನ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಕಲ್ಲೋಳ ಲೀಲಾ ಕಲ್ಲೋಳ ವಾರಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಲೀಲಾಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮೆನ್ಸ್ an adbhut chamatkar and where he manifests his sweetness his sportiveness playfulness huh? like he is playing with the covered boys i told you huh? so that is the leela madri is called 
with his mother, with covered boys, with gopis like that. And Atulya Madhura Prema Mandita Priya Mandalaha. So, in this way, uh, second thing is Prema Madhuri. Huh? You know, he is always surrounded by loving servitors with whom he exchanges love. That is Prema Madhuri. They have ocean of love for him, he has ocean of love for them. That is Prema Madhuri. First one is Leela Madhuri, then second is Prema Madhuri. Sri Jagan Manas Akarshi Murali Kalakujitaha. When he plays on his flute, all the upper, lower, middle planets, everybody is attracted. Even Brahma is going into Puja room and he hears a flute, he cannot do Puja. He drops the Puja and comes out. Oh, where is the flute coming from? I am going mad. He feels like that. Many Rishis are going into you know, Himalayan Gufas to go and chant. Oh, like that. And when they hear the flute sound of Krishna, they drop their home and come running. Where is the flute sound coming from? <laughs> and they are disturbed. And they all are attracted to the flute sound like that. Huh? All the Trijagan Manas Akarshi. And deers and uh, deers are coming, peacocks are coming, cows and calves are coming, uh, parrots are coming. And Yamuna stops her fierce course of water and comes becomes very slow and uh, eager to hear the flute sound. Hmm? All the flowers are blossoming. And the trees are dripping honey and the fruits are getting ripened by hearing the flute sound. Huh? Like that. Trijagan Manasakarshi. Asama Norga Rupa Shri Bisma Pita Chara Chara. And the fourth one is Rupa Madhurya. Asama Norga Rupa Shri. Huh? There is no form equal to Krishna's form, he's saying. Bisma Pita Chara Chara. Whole Chara Chara is like astonished by seeing his beautiful form. Why? Because Krishna doesn't stand erect. He stands in a threefold bending form. You have seen that. Yeah. And therefore, it's called Rupa Madhuri. You know, he plays on his flute like this, uh, bending his neck. Another bend is the hip. Another bend is the leg. He keeps like this. Huh? So, three bends. Now, why is he bending like that? When you're talking to your parents or family members, you'll be very casual in standing, isn't it? But when you are standing in NCC, you'll be standing erect. So, Lord Vishnu, Lord Rama, they all stand erect uh -huh, because of formal relationship. Whereas Krishna has an informal relationship with his devotees, he stands in a threefold bending form. And that form is very beautiful. Trivangalalitam. Venu kvanantam aravinda dalaya daksham parhavadam samasitam budasundarangam kandarpa koti kamaniya vishesha shobam govindam adipurusham tamaham bhajam. So, in that verse, Brahmaji is saying, Venum Kanantam, Venum Kanantam, he plays on a flute. Aravinda Dalaya Taksham, his eyes like lotus petals. Barhavatamsam, he is wearing a peacock feather on his head. Uh, that is saying, Barhavatamsam, Asitam, Bahu Sundarangam, he is saying that his body is like a fresh monsoon cloud. Kandarpa Koti Kamani, very, very beautiful. Therefore, there is a very beautiful song. I will sing that song now, a few minutes, and then we will proceed ahead. So this is a very beautiful song. Adharam Madhuram Varanam Madhuram Adharam Madhuram Adharam Madhuram Nayanam Madhuram Hasitam Madhuram He says, Adhara Madhuram means when Krishna is playing on the flute in the moonlit, moonlit night, his lips are shining very beautifully. And his face is also like a full moon, very beautiful. Adamda on Chandra, we say, no? And his eyes are like lotus petals, Kamala Nayanam, like lotus petals. And his smile is also very beautiful. 
therefore in uh, in bhagavatam you'll always read about his loving glances pleasing smiles and sweet words huh? and curly locks of hair and three full bending form these are all his beauty hmm? and his heart is also very sweet hridayam why his heart is sweet because when sudama comes to dwaraka he goes running to receive him embrace him bring him to the uh, palace and make him sit in his own seat hmm? and wash his feet feeding him prasad massaging his feet in this way he serves his friend with great love huh? he is very fond of his uh, friend sudama although sudama is poverty stricken and wearing tattered clothes and showing a bony body huh? therefore all the uh, court uh, servants and servant maids they said you know kim mane na kritam punyam avadute na bhikshuna this bhikshuk uh, beggar how is he getting so much receiving so much respect from our master must be he is very close to his heart they all thought hmm? he is like that therefore madurati patera akila madram hmm? and gamana madram when he is walking to the forest behind the cows and feeding them water from yamuna and taking them in the forest for grazing the grass his lotus feet look very beautiful when he is walking to the forest hmm? that is gamana madram is walking is beautiful he says so madurati patera akila madram everything about him is sweet hmm? and then he is saying here ವೇಣುರ್ ಮಧುರ ರೇಣು ಮಧುರ he is saying venur madura i told you just a few minutes ago about the flute isn't it when he plays on his flute you know the stones melt and the water becomes like ice huh? the moving things stop and the stopping things move huh? that is the power of his flute hmm. melts the hearts of everybody hmm. actually the flute is the uh, flute sound is the impetus for devotees love to awaken in their hearts huh? for krishna and then renur madura the dust of his lotus feet is also great why because he dances on kaliya the picture is not here he dances on kaliya and kaliya gave up his pride arrogance and everything became a pure devotee and by like krishna's dust touch so his uh, you all know that how ahilya was delivered by that dust of lord rama's lotus feet huh? isn't it similarly in rityam madura when he dances on kaliya he was looking so beautiful hmm? you know he was dancing from one hood to another huh? ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ <laughs> whereas krishna didn't get a plain stage to play, uh, dance he got <laughs> moving heads <laughs> of kaliya and he danced so beautifully therefore nrityam madhuram his dance is also very beautiful hmm? and sakya madhuram his friendship with arjuna as par sarathi is very sweet and his friendship with sudama is also sweet sakya madhuram hmm? that's why he says that geetam madhuram pitam madhuram geetam madhuram pitam ಮಧುರಾಧಿಪತೆ ಅಖಿಲ ಮಧುರಂ 
Gita Madhuram, you know, his Bhagavad Gita is also sweet. You know, even after 5,000 years, still the whole world is reading it and describing the Bhagavad Gita. Hmm? Pita Madhuram, his Pitambar is very beautiful. And Bhuktam Madhuram, huh? when he eats in the bank of, you know, Yamuna with all his covered boyfriends, they all sit around him and bring different lunch packets and different items they share with him. His eating is very beautiful. And also Krishna is a eating god, isn't it? In, as Jagannath Puri, Jagannath Baladeva Subhadra. You know, they eat chapan bog daily, isn't it? So, lots of people come to see the eating god. So, Jagannath is an eating god, isn't it? And Suptam Madhuram, Madhuram. Suptam means sleeping. Even his sleeping is beautiful. Lord Ranganatha in uh, Srirangam. Huh? He is lying down. See, if somebody is lying down at night, who will come to see him? Nobody will. They will say that he is sleeping, I am going away. <laughs> Whereas when Lord is sleeping, lakhs of people come to see him. Shantakaram Bhujagashayanam Padmanabham Suresham Vishwadharam Gaganasadrisham Meghavarnam Shubhangam Lakshmi Kantam Kamalanayanam Yogi Hridhyanagamyam Vande Vishnum Bhavabhayaharam Sarvalokai Kanatham Meghashyamam Pita Kaushaya Vasam Shrivat Sankam Kaustvod Bhasitangam Punyopetam Pundari Kayatakshram Vishnum Vande Sarvalokai Kanatham such a beautiful verse, no? It's kind of glorifying Lord Ranganatha who is lying in the, uh, you know, snake bed, Ananta Shesha. Although he is lying in a yoga nidra posture, uh, lakhs of people come to see him also. Huh? Supta Madhuram, when Krishna is lying down, people like to see his sleeping Krishna. Uh, now I will be telling you very soon a pastime of uh, Yashoda putting Krishna to sleep. Huh? All other uh, Yashoda's friends come to see it, how Krishna is put to sleep. Huh? And Bhukta Madhuram, his eating is also beautiful. Huh? His sleeping is beautiful. Rupa Madhuram, his uh, form is beautiful, I told you. Hmm? Threefold bending form. Telakam Madhuram, his telakam is Kasturi Telakam Lalaka Patle. That's the verse which says, yeah, that's a Kasturi Telakam, which is shining. Very beautiful. Hmm? Madhuradi Pater, Akira Madhuram. So in this way, his Madhuratha is explained in this song. Hmm? In five minutes, we'll sing one more song. Hmm? Yeah. So now, uh, see, that love for Krishna, which is there with the covered boys, is also oceanic. They have a lot of abundant love. Uh, they, they cannot forget Krishna even for a moment. Uh, uh, in this world, uh, you also have some experience like that. Like, for example, mother, father, you know, uh, people have affection for them. Like many of you boys, when you come to the college for the first year, of course, now you are in pandemic, <laughs> everything is uh, online. But when the college opens, when you go to college, you, you are going to feel, you know, some kind of homesickness, isn't it? When you are in the hostel away from mother and father, some boys secretly cry also, huh? thinking of the mother and father. Some boys suddenly in the middle of the, uh, you know, college going on, they take uh, one week leave and go away to home. Huh? because of the feeling of separation from parents. So you have some understanding of what love is in this world. At the same time, the love for Krishna is actually uh, incessant love. Because in this world, love is separated by the separating sword of time. As the time goes, parents get old, we get old, they go somewhere, we go somewhere. Two different families. Whereas in the spiritual world, they are never separated from the Lord. They are always with the Lord. So all of us have that love for Krishna intensely in our hearts. Currently, it has become covered over, as I told you in the previous lecture, isn't it? But that love, awakening, that love is the goal of life. Yeah? Once that love is awakened, you will not be born again in this material world. Krishna says, they will all come back to me once they awaken that love. Yeah? And this, these courses, these training programs with Krishna, all these things are helping you to get an understanding of what is material world, what is spiritual world, what is true relationship, what is genuine, pure relationship with no motivation. Yeah? You know, people come in this world and connect with some friends with some uh, anticipation. Eh? You know, my mama is a MLA. If I go and connect with him tomorrow, he will get me a job or something. That kind of motivated love people have in this world. Whereas in love for Krishna, the covered boys and the Vrindavan Vasis have absolutely no motivation. They are pure completely. Hmm. So that love has to be awakened. See, here is one amazing pastime I'm showing here. One time Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to the temple of Jagannath to take darshan. At that time, one old lady, a lady, she climbed on uh, 
uh, one leg on his shoulder and another leg she kept on the Garuda Stamba and she was taking the Jagannath's darshan and she was smiling with great eagerness, uh, looking at Jagannath, how beautiful Jagannath is looking. And uh, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's servant was shouting, Hey, old lady, get down! Don't you see? You are offending the Lord and the pure devotee Garuda. You are keeping one leg on Garuda Stamba, another leg you are keeping on Lord Chaitanya, you are Lord, offending Lord and the devotee, both. Get down, he was telling. At the time, Lord Chaitanya said, Govinda, look at this old woman. How blessed she is. She has so much love for Lord Jagannath. She is looking at Jagannath with such eagerness. She is seeing him as Sakshat Vrindavan uh, Chandra. She is seeing him as Krishna Vrindavan along with his brother Baladev, along with her sister Subhadra in the middle. So, I wish I had such an intense greed like her. Like that, Chaitanya said. Which means, um, there is one verse which says that, Krishna Bhakti Rasabhavitamati Kriyatam Pikuto Pilabhyate Tatra Lolyam Piyye Kalamulyam Janma Koti Sukriti Nalabhyate Even Koti Koti Janma, you do some Yajna Dana Tapa, you cannot get this love for Krishna. You know, you can go to heaven, live a long life and finish your punya and come back. If you do material punya. Huh? But if you meet a Krishna devotee, who, who is a great lover of Krishna, by associating with the devotee, that love will, bhakti sanjayate bhakti, bhakti will come from the heart of the devotee into your heart. Huh? And you will also develop fondness for Krishna, attraction for Krishna. So therefore, hmm. in this world, if you associate with non-devotees, one example I'll give you. If a, if a boy is going in a bike with a girl sitting behind tightly embracing him and they both are ha 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 laughing and enjoying and going. If you see that sight, the other boys who are watching it, they get sexually agitated uh, by seeing that sight. Why? Because both that boy and girl are sense gratifiers and now they appear to be enjoying, they are smiling in their face. By looking at such a sight, even a great uh, person who has sense control also will fall down sometimes. Uh, like Ajamila was a Brahmana when he saw a similar sight in the forest, he fell down. Hmm. Therefore, Shastra say, never associate with a Stri Sangi, it says. Stri also is bad, dangerous, but Stri Sangi is even more dangerous. That means one who is always a Stri Lampat. Huh? He is always talking about woman, uh, attracted to woman. He is chasing after woman, talking about lusty activities with woman. Th such a boy, you should completely avoid. Because mo he is more dangerous than a woman also, like that Shastra say. In the same manner, the Shastra say that if you associate with God, you know, you will develop love for Him uh, to some degree. But if you associate with the devotee who is mad after God, huh, your love for God will develop even more faster. That person is called Bhagavad Sanghi. Huh? So, Sri Sanghi is the uh, worst person and Bhagavad Sanghi is the best person. Huh? Because Bhagavad Sanghi, if you associate, you will go to Bhagavan. Huh? Sri Sanghi, you associate, you will go to hell. So, we have the choice. Actually, the Prabhupada is an example of Bhagavad Sanghi, who was so mad after Krishna. When he went to the West, he could give that a transcendental madness called Divyon Mad hmm? to the hippies of the West. Even hippie, hippie people are at a very low potential. It's something like, you know, minus 2000 or minus 3000 degrees centigrade. <laughs> Isn't it? From that, Prabhupada elevated them to plus 5000 degrees centigrade. <laughs> like that, he made them such serious devotees. Hmm? So, he, because he's a high potential Vaishnava. Hmm? It's like, a, you know, the zeroth law of thermodynamics. You know? If an object is at a very high temperature, then even if you bring a low temperature object, it will increase the temperature of the low temperature object also. Eh? Very much like that by coming in contact. So in that way, Vaishnava also, if Vaishnava is a great lover of Krishna, then we also develop love by uh, hearing about Krishna. So here is another pastime. Uh, you see in the picture here. See, this is actually one of the queens of Dwaraka. She descended in this world in South India. Her name is Andal. Huh? So this Andal you are seeing in the picture here, her father is behind her. What she would do, you know, her father would be making the garland. And uh, she also, of course, would make the garland being his daughter. Because she is one of the eternal associates of Krishna, no? In the spiritual world. So when she comes here, she had a great attraction for Krishna also. Hmm? Naturally. So after her father would, uh, uh, would want to offer the garland, before that what this girl would do, she would wear the garland around her neck, like you see here. <laughs> and she is looking in the mirror. But inside the mirror, you see what she is seeing. She is seeing Krishna inside. Because she is wearing and seeing, if, if Krishna wears the garland that I have made for him, how will he look like? Huh? 
like that she would wear and see. And it would look very beautiful on Krishna's body. You've seen Balaji wearing such a garland, no? Big garland. So, uh, and then she would remove it and keep it. And then her father would take it for uh, uh, offering to Krishna. But father was not aware that this girl, is, her, his daughter is wearing it. He was not aware at all. But one day the father noticed it. My Lord, he was shocked. My daughter has put it around her neck. That means this garland is no more offerable to Krishna because her hair has touched it. Now it has become impure, muchi. It's no more shuchi. So he rejected that garland and he made a fresh one. And he took it to uh, offer it to Lord Balaji. Huh? He went to offer it to Lord Krishna. So when he above, when he put it in Lord Balaji, Balaji said, no, 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 I don't want this new one. I want that one only. He said, really, which one? No, the one which was worn by your daughter. He said, really, why? He said, you don't know. She's, uh, she has spontaneous love for me. Hmm? She has pure love for me. Hmm? And she makes the garland with such eagerness and such devotion. And she wears it around her neck to check whether it is it will fit me very well. Because it is offered with such devotion, I will accept that. And then the, her father was amazed. Later on, you know what Andal did? She wrote this Andal Tirupa, a very famous one on glorification of Krishna. She adapted the mood of a gopi and she wrote it. And, and when father asked her, whom will you marry? She said, tell me the different lords uh, who appeared in this world. So there are 108 Divya Desams in South India. Yeah? So, uh, he, her father told her, name of one one lord, each lord, and their pastimes. He, she heard everything silently. You know? Finally, she said, I have decided to marry Ranganath, she said. Ranganath is, she said, Ranganath is Sakshat Krishna only. You know? Adi Kanna. Kanna means Krishna. She is calling him as Krishna only. You know? uh, one song, I'll tell you what she is singing. Vaiyat vaal virhaal nangal nam pavaik seyyum Keliro par kadalul, payyattu dindra, paramana di padi, neyun no palun no, naat kale ni radi, mayetel dom, malaret namudiyom, seyyadana seyyom, te kural chenro dom, ayamum, pichayum, amtanayum kai gati, uyumar endrini. I'll tell you the meaning of this. She's uh, in the mood of Srimad Radharani and Gopis. She's going in Vrindavan in the mood. She's saying, hey Gopis, is it the time to sleep in the early morning hours? The cock has already, co -co -co -co, it has made the sound. It is early morning, four o'clock. All of you get up from your bed. Now let us all follow the Katyayani Vrata. Huh? Let us go to the bank of uh, uh, Yamuna and perform the Vrata. And she says that in this whole month, you know, we will keep the Vrata uh, by chanting Krishna's names and we will also give charity uh, for the service to the Lord and, so, and to the poor and the ne needy and sick. We will give away wealth and we will not talk ill of anybody and we will not spend too much time in combing the hair and decorating our hair and we will not eat ghee. We will not drink milk, we will not drink ghee and we will not enjoy life. We will, uh, we will take only fruits. Mm -hmm. We will lead a very, very austere life, she's saying. In this way, she's telling, and whole month we will keep this so that we may get Krishna as our eternal Lord. So she's singing in that mood. So when she told her father, I'll marry only Ranganath. So the father took her to Ranganath temple on the day of marriage. Thousands of people are watching. How is she going to marry Ranganath? Will the deity speak to her? Will the deity garland her? What will happen? She entered the sanctum sanctorum and entered into the lotus feet of the Lord and never came out. <laughs> and she entered Vaikuntha in that way. She entered the Goloka and married Krishna eternally. <laughs> so this is Andal. You will see that. <laughs> so in this way, there are pure devotees who are great lovers of the Lord. <laughs> Here you are seeing Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, when he was in Jagannath Puri, he used to uh, run after some sand dune and say, Hanta Yamadri Abalam Haridasavari, Oh, Govardhan, Govardhan, he would call, thinking it is Govardhan in Vrindavan. So he was always uh, running after Krishna. Huh? Here you see, this was in Kanenat Shala. He saw Krishna eye to eye after his Diksha. Huh? And here in the other picture you are seeing when Krishna left the Vindavan along with Balram, with Akrura, all the gopis cried. So in that mood he is crying. So adopting the mood of the gopis, of Vrindavan who are the purest devotees, uh, pure hearted devotees, and, uh, and also feeling separation from Krishna is actually considered the highest platform of bhakti. 
Hmm. Actually, there is a pastime of the gopis, which I will tell you. Maybe I can tell you briefly now. How advanced is the, the devotion of the gopis? One time Krishna purposefully lied down with his hand on the head. And Narada asked, my Lord, why are you feeling, why are you don't appear to be feeling nice? Krishna said, I'm feeling severe headache. He said, what is the medicine you want? He said, the only medicine that will work for me is the dust of my pure devotees. If you can fetch that to me, I'll be very happy. I'll apply on my head and my headache will be gone. Then Narada went all around the world meeting pure devotees of Krishna, Rishis and Munis and all. Rishis and Munis told Narada, what are you talking? Are you foolish? Are you not foolish? If Krishna takes our dust and puts on his head, we will go to not only hell, we'll go to hell forever. Because Lord is our master, how can we give our dust to him? And when he went to different places, nobody gave even a bit of dust also. At last he went to the gopis of Vindavan. And the gopis of Vindavan. See, in gopis there are two levels of gopis. One is Yashoda and her friends, they are elderly gopis. And then other gopis are little girls, they are younger girls, like 9 years, 10 years, 11 years old. They are all like Krishna's friends. So those type of gopis. So he went to the younger, go younger gopis. Uh, who are friends of Krishna. So he went to them and asked, Krishna is having a headache and he wants the dust of the dust of his devotees. Immediately all the gopis sat in a big circle and put a cloth in the middle and took more and more dust from their feet and put it <laughs> and bound it together in a big packet and told Narada, quickly go, apply it on Lord's head. Narada said, oh girls, do you know, you will go to hell for this forever. Gopis said, what is the problem? If this can relieve Lord's headache, even for a moment, we are ready to go to hell for all time to come, they said. At that time, Narada woke up. He had tears in his eyes. He came back to Krishna and said, My Lord, this is what the gopis said. And Krishna smiled and said, I told you, this is the standard of the gopis' devotion. So we will later talk about, in the next session, we will talk about gopis' love for Krishna, how it is not lust, like ordinary boys and girls think in this world. We will talk about that later. So, this is, this is actually called Lobha, or intense greed or love for Krishna, which is beyond Bhukti, Mukti, Siddhi, all of that. A devotee of the Lord doesn't want any Bhukti. You know, he doesn't want to become Indra or Brahma or anything. He doesn't want Moksha also. Many Jnanis want Moksha. They want to get Moksha and go and relax in the Brahma Jyoti. But a devotee doesn't want that also. He doesn't want any Ashta Siddhis to show off to the people, like can walk on water, fly on sky. Devotee wants only Bhakti, loving devotion to the Lord. So, yeah, so now I will show you another, I will show you another PowerPoint, just one minute. Yeah. Yeah, you can see this one. I have to I think the timing will come, I think I'll give me the time. Why is the time will come? What is it? Yeah, you can Yeah, you can see it now? Yeah. See, you all may be knowing this past time. Uh, this is uh, Vasudev and Devaki, newly wedded. And Devaki's brother Kamsa was taking her on the chariot. Everything was all right. Uh, but when he heard the Akashwani from the sky, that eighth child of Devaki is going to be the cause of his, you know, Kamsa's death. At the time, Kamsa lifted the sword like this. He was about to kill Devaki. And that's a long past time, I will not tell you. But Vasudev is the noble soul, pure devotee of the Lord, both of them, Devaki and Vasudev. Huh? So, this is the eighth child is appearing in the jail, Krishna. You might have heard about it in your Svurti festival. You must have heard about how when Krishna appeared, the whole jail became effulgent, eh? brilliantly effulgent. And Mother Devaki is, you see, folding the palms and bowing down. Mother and father offered namaskar to the Lord eh? when the Lord appeared in the jail. Like that, there is a verse, beautiful verse. How is Adbuta Balakam? I will not explain those things now. 
because you are supposed to have heard it in the Swarthi camp before. Huh? And uh, how Krishna appeared with beautiful pitambar and, you know, with mukut and curly locks of hair. And then he showed both the forms, 400 form, as you see here, and child form also. And then Krishna was taken to Nanda Gokulam, hmm. where he shows to Yashoda, and in one of the past times, Mrita Bhakshan Leela, he opened his mouth and showed the uh, Brahmanda inside, and to Arjuna, he showed the Vishwarupa. These things show God's greatness. But now we will enter into God's sweetness. You already heard a lot about greatness. I showed you Vishwarupa Dash and all that. Now you can see his sweetness. Till now, in the yesterday's talk, you have been hearing about, uh, uh, you know, Krishna with the covered boys you heard. Now, higher than that level of pastime is Krishna's you know, Vatsala Rasa with his parents. See, there are five Rasas prominent. Shantras, Dasiras, Sakyaras, Vatsalaras, Madhuriras. Shantras means in Vrindavan, when Krishna enters, all the trees are laden with fruits. They are offering fruits like this. My Lord, please take the fruits, ripe fruits. The garden flowers are offering Krishna flowers. Please take the flowers. And they all, and Yamuna also, who goes in fierce motion, she becomes slow to throw lotuses in Krishna's lotus feet. They are welcoming Krishna, and the peacocks are dancing and welcoming. And the deers are looking at Krishna with love, love laden glances. So, in this way, Krishna gets a welcome in the forest when he goes. These are all chantras. And Dasiras means some servants carry the Rabaladu for Krishna when he goes to forest. Mother Ishada gives them. Chitrak, Patrak, Raktak and all. And then there are equal friends of Krishna, like Sridhama, Sudhama, Madhu Mangal. They are equal friends of Krishna. Then there are senior friends of Krishna, like Bhadra, Rishabha, Balaram. They are all senior to Krishna. So all of them in Sakiras, Dasiras and Sakiras. But above that is Vatsalaras, which we are going to discuss now. And Yashoda is abundantly glorified in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Nemam virincho nababo nashirapyanga samshayaha Prasadam le vire gopi tat tat prapa vimuktidat. You know, Shukdev Goswami is saying, Brahma, who is, who is uh, the servant of the Lord, Shiva, who is friend of the Lord, and Lakshmi, who is Ardangini, half of the body of the Lord, none of them got as much mercy as Yashoda got, he is saying. Why? Because Yashoda could embrace the absolute truth as her own baby huh? and put the baby on her lap, you know, give milk to the child from her own body. Huh? And even Brahma is very amazed. Brahma is telling this. Mm. Aho is saying that Aho uh, Aho Bhagyam Aho Bhagyam Nanda Gopa Prajokasam Yan Mitram Paramanandam Purna Brahma Sanatanam. He's saying anybody born in Vrindavan, Aho Bhagyam, Aho Bhagyashali they are. He's telling huh? Nanda Gopa Prajokasam. Uh, for them, Krishna has become their friend. And then he's saying uh, Aho Atidanya Vrajago Ramanya Stanyam Ratam Pita Mativate Muda. He's saying how blessed Yashoda is from uh, whom Krishna accepted milk from her body. So the most intimate relationship is in motherhood. <clears throat> like you see this picture, Yashoda and child. In this world, if you see mother and child, uh, it's a perverted reflection of this. Yeah? We all feel fondness for the mother, isn't it? That comes from Krishna's attachment to his mother and mother's attachment to Krishna. So she's one of the devotees of Krishna only, but she has become a, such advanced pure devotee. Krishna accepted her as, as, his, own, as his own mother. Here you see, uh, uh, as baby Krishna, she has to feed him uh, food, prasad. So she's making him look at the moon and she's putting suddenly in the mouth, she's asking, Kana, look at the moon. And Krishna is saying, ah, he says, then she puts the food in the mouth. And that's the way she food, feeds. Huh? You see, one day she's trying to put him to sleep. All the other friends have come. Huh? Even he's sleeping, very beautiful. See, he has come. Huh? And, uh, uh, she is not able to put him to sleep. You know, everybody is laughing, all the other friends. Uh, they are seeing Krishna's beauty of sleeping. Then Ashwada is telling, okay, but I will tell you a beautiful story. Hear that story and go to sleep. And he says, okay, mom. And she says, that long, long ago, one great demon lived whose name is Iranyakashipu. She says, hmm, tell me more. And then he had a son called Prahlad. And he tortured his son, Prahlad. And from the pillar came Lord Narsimha. And he jumped out to the pillar. And picked up Aranyakashipu, put him on his lap and tore him to pieces, she said. And Krishna had a big beaming smile on his face. And Ishwada asked, Kana, what is the matter? I know this story already, he said. And Ishwada said, if you know it, why you didn't tell me in the beginning? Now you are smiling at the end. 
He said, okay, I'll tell you another new story, she said. Then she told this one. She said, Ramo Nama Babhuva. There was a great personality called Lord Rama. And Krishna said, hmm, oh, very interesting story. Please tell me more. Tadabala Siteti. His wife's name is Sita. Hmm, Krishna said, please tell me. Tam Pidur Vata Panchapati Vane Vikarataha. On the order of the father, huh? Uh, Ram and uh, Sita and Lakshman, they went to the forest. She said, and Krishna was hearing attentively. Tasaharat Ravanaha. And one Ravana demon came and took away Sita, she said. Nedatam Janaki Katamiti Hare Hum Karataha Shinbataha. To put uh, Krishna to sleep, she was telling Janaki Katha, Ram Katha. And Lord Hari also, hum, hum, he was telling and hearing the Katha very nicely. But suddenly he jumped up in his bed and loudly shouted, Somitre, Kwa, Dhanur, Dhanu, Dhanuriti. Vyagragira Pantunaha, that Krishna stood up in his bed and told, Hey, Somitre, Sumitra's son, Lakshman, get my bow, get my bow, get my bow. Three times Krishna loudly shouted, because Krishna went into the bhava of Rama. <laughs> because he is only Ram, no? When he heard about Ravana coming and taking away Sita, he went into the mood of Ram. He immediately got up and said, Lakshman, get my bow. <laughs> and then all the other ladies laughed and asked Yashoda, Yashoda, are you putting him to sleep or are you waking him up? Yashoda said, oh, oh, this story is not putting him to sleep. She said, all of you go away now. I know the art of putting him to sleep. So she sent them all away. And then she put Krishna to bed. And immediately she went, she lay down by the side of Krishna. And, you know, completely closed her eyes. And as if she has completely gone to sleep. And Krishna saw their mother. Mama, he was pulling her hair, pull, pulling her nose, nothing was happening. Huh? And she, he saw that, oh, mother slept now. Now there is no use of showing any tamasha now, because there is no one to watch watch now. <laughs> so Krishna also went to sleep. And then Lishada slowly opened her eyes and saw, my Kana has gone to sleep now. Yeah? Then immediately she went to kitchen. Hmm? Went to kitchen and started her work. Huh? This is uh, Mother Lishada's intelligence. Huh? How she puts her son to sleep. And now all the mothers have learned the same technique. If the child is creating too much headache, the mother will go to sleep. <laughs> then the child also will go to sleep. <laughs> Isn't it? So, in this way, Krishna is a butter thief, you see. So, uh, he is very famous for um, uh, stealing the butter, either in others' homes or in the same home also. Yeah. One day, all Yashoda's friends came to complain about Krishna to Yashoda. Mm -hmm. And they said, Yashoda, uh, look at your naughty son. He comes to our home in the morning. When we are very busy in the kitchen, he goes behind the house and he releases the calf. And the calves immediately start drinking milk at an odd time. They are not supposed to drink milk at that time. So early in the morning. Eh? And then when they go and drink all the milk away, it's not good for them. They will get sick by drinking too much milk. Huh? So we had to go and stop it. I dropped my work in the kitchen. I ran along with my husband and to stop the uh, calf and uh, tie the calf again. In the meantime, Krishna with his friends enters the home and loots the butter and feeds the monkeys and eats it himself. He feeds the friends. And when he feeds more and more to monkeys, monkeys start saying, no thanks, sir. No thanks, Krishna, we had enough. But then when they start spitting here and there, and Krishna says, this is a butter which even monkeys don't like. Huh? Like that he criticizes the butter after eating everything. Huh? And then when we come back into the home, he runs away with his friends. Huh? And this way, different, different Gopi gave, gave different, different complaint about Krishna. When Ashwada heard it, she felt uh, this is such a shame. So she went to Krishna and asked. And then the Gopi said, look at your son, he's looking like a very innocent, keeping an innocent face. Look at Krishna, this is called Damodar. <laughs> so she went to Damodar and asked, Kana, tell me, did you steal butter from others' homes? Krishna said, Maya, you make butter and give me at home. Why should I go and steal in others' homes? He asked. Hmm. So then Neshwada went back and said, see, my son is saying like this. They laughed and said, he will say anything he wants, but we have a proof hmm, that you know he has stolen butter. Go back and see his chin. There is a butter sticking there. Hmm? Then Ashwada went back and looked at his chin. Yes, sure enough, there was butter. Hmm? 
immediately she showed a mirror look can i look at your face can i look at your smile there okay your smile is all right but did you see yes i see my beautiful hair i see my beautiful face is that's all it what is this this my yeah oh, this is butter he said where did that butter come from tell me she asked him my this butter they gave me he said acha they gave you butter and now complaining that you are stealing again vashada went back to the gopis hey you guys are giving butter to him and you are blaming him she asked them they said my yashoda why should we give butter See, our butter is low quality no but the butter which you make in your home is made from padbaganda cows which is fragrant like uh, lotus no? and that milk is also fragrant butter is uh, butter is also very fragrant you make high quality butter why will we give our butter to him no? therefore he is telling you lies that we gave him we never gave him he has stolen it is it now she was wondering what to do she went back to krishna as kana they are all saying that they never gave you you stole it <laughs> please honestly admit kana said maya do you trust me or do you trust them i yeah, maya said no no kana i trust you very well at the same time but they are all complaining together so many of them have come how can you say you didn't steal he said you see maya they keep all the butter in the top of the roof i am such a small child do you think a child can reach the roof is it logical tell me no? and maya thought what he is saying is perfect then again she went back to the gopis and said see my son is saying like this what do you say they said my uh, yashoda your your boy is very very clever his body size is small but his intelligence is very great he gets all his friends and makes a pyramid and climbs in the top and breaks the pot and takes the butter feeds everybody and yashoda understood the whole thing now <laughs> what is doing so she went to the garden and picked up one stick which is bending stick she is uh, dry stick doesn't paint so much bending stick paints huh? people fear you know teacher used to give us in school days part like this you have seen that like that <laughs> and uh, all people would say like ah, ah, ah. and other boys would be laughing and the, this boy will say hey mera ho gaya bhi tumhara hoga bhi <laughs> you also come now for not doing the homework huh? so she has brought that stick huh? it's a tamarind stick huh? isn't it so now when she came to kana kana got pride and all the friends of krishna were in the window they were all laughing all the while huh? when uh, krishna was Uh, cheating his mother, uh, saying different things, and after the mother will go to the gopis, the, all the friends will say, "Kana, kana, you are smart, smart, very good. You escaped very nicely, very good. Well done, well done." But now they also saw Yashoda has become upset. She is bringing a stick. So Kana asked Yashoda Maya, "Maya, till now you were asking questions very sweetly. Where does the stick come from? Tell me." Yashoda said, hey, "You know, I have to use this stick uh, if you don't tell me the truth." you tell me the truth then there is no punishment for you she said kana said okay my i'll tell you the truth you throw away the stick then the truth will come out from my mouth he said oh really she threw away the stick and she kept her hands on krishna's shoulder so that it doesn't run away anywhere huh? and kana said maya mori main nahi ma khan kayo maya mori main nahi ma khan kayo he said she said kana what are you saying after speaking all that now i thought you are going to tell the truth main nahi ma khan kaya you didn't eat the ma khan kana laughed and said maya you are not understanding huh? you heard me well she said yes i heard you well kana tell me he said maya mori maine hi ma khan kayo he said are maine hi ma khan kayo pakado abhi huh? then he got up and started running away from there huh? And Yashoda the ran behind him. He ran to the kitchen. Yashoda also ran in, and she didn't find him. Did he disappear in the kitchen? Oh, he was hiding behind the door. When she opened the door, he came out of the door and ran out. You see, he's running out here. Uh, these are the gopis complaining, and he's running here. Hmm. He's feeding. Uh, this is the one I told you. He's feeding his friends, <laughs> feeding the monkeys. He told the monkeys when he came as Lord Ram, "You guys did lot of seva, seva to bandhan all you did." but poor fellows you didn't get any remuneration now i'll give you um, butter now whatever i missed giving you now i'll give you eat now <laughs> he told them huh? and here he ran to the street why he thought that if i run to the street some passers by will uh, protect me from my mother if they see the stick in her hand they will tell how can you beat up a small tender child and they will defend me like the krishna thought madhushri said kana you think i am so foolish 
I will not beat you in the street. I will pick you first and take you inside. <laughs> After taking you inside, then the do doors will come to you, she said. See here, gopis are watching from behind. Hmm? Even the cows are watching <laughs> this past time. You see, Krishna cannot be captured. He's God himself. Who can capture him? If he wants to run, nobody can catch him. In the Ishopanishad, there is a verse which says that, Ane daje kam manaso javi yo naina deva apnuman purva marshat taddavato nyanatye didishtat tasmin napoma tarishwa dadati tatte jati tannai jati taddure tadbanti ke. That's a verse which says this. It says, when all the demigods, they had a running competition with Lord Krishna. Krishna was walking and they were running. Still they could not surpass Krishna, it is said. How is that possible? They are running in the same place. Hmm? But Krishna is walking very coolly ahead. Nobody can catch with the Lord if he... Because if he decides to take step, he can take Vamanadev step, big step from earth to the topmost Satyaloka, he can take his feet. Hmm? That is the meaning of God. But here you find Yashoda captured him by her love. Hmm? How? This is what is explained in that beautiful song. Hmm? Namameshwaram sar Chidananda Rupam Rasat Kundalam Gokule Brajamanam Namameshwaram sar Chidananda Rupam Rasat Kundalam Gokule Brajamanam Yashoda Vijoluka Ladhavamanam ृदंतमोहत्रुदंतमोहत्रम कारंबोज युग में सातं कनेत्रं कारंबोज युग में सातं कनेत्रं मुहस्वातकं पत्रे रेतां ककंठा पत्रे रेतां ककंठा तो आई विल टेल यू द फर्स्ट पैरा इज द मेन पैरा आई विल टेल यू व्हाट इज ही सेइंग Namami Shwaram Satchit Ananda Rupam. See, Namami, I bow down to whom? Ishwaram, the Lord of all Lords, eh? Krishna, Supreme Lord. Satchit Ananda Swarupam. His body is made up of Satchit Ananda. He's not ordinary child, ordinary body. Fully Satchit Ananda Swarupam. And then he's saying, Lasat Kundalam. His Kundala is shining very beautifully when it is moving back and forth like this. Hmm? Lasat Kundalam, Gokule Brajamanam. In Gokul is running. You show this picture where he is running in Gokul. Yeah. Hmm? Yashoda, what is she doing? Yashoda, Biyolukala, Dhabamanam. He is running in the front, Yashoda is running behind. And Kana is wondering, hey, where is Madam Maya Yashoda? I am repeatedly running and she is not coming behind. I think she is not able to catch up with my speed. And then he turned behind to see whether she is coming or not. Immediately she caught him. And while running away from Mother Yashoda, he was laughing. And Mother Yashoda was also laughing. Why she was laughing? He said, Kana, you are trying to escape from me. I told you, I will leave you. I am not going to leave you. Both mother and son were laughing and then he was captured by the love of Mother Yashoda. Such a beautiful pastime, isn't it? So in this way, and she is binding him, you see. So this is a childhood pastime. But a little later, uh, Krishna grew up, he became Vatsapal and Gopal. I will tell you one beautiful song, huh? which uh, tells one time. But again, the song is in Tamil. But I'll tell you the meaning. It's a very beautiful huh? uh, meaning. Madu make a cane when I pose a venom son name. Pose a venom tie. That is a la denie. See what he's saying. Madu make a cane means, Mother, you are telling me not to go to forest to herd the cows and calves. But let me tell you, my father, Nanda Baba, and all the other covered men had a meeting today morning. And they have given me Pashupala Sammato. Sammati they have given. That means sanction is given. That me, Balaram and uh, my friends can... Now we are grown up. Now we are grown up children. Our intelligence has grown up also. Uh, so we are very confident now. We want to go to the forest. Now you have to allow me to go. Huh? Don't keep me locked up at home. Please allow me to go. Uh, so Anchi is saying, 
ಕಾಯ್ಚಿನ ಪಾಲು ತರೆ ಕಲ್ಕಂಡ ಜೀರಿ ತರೆ ಕೈಯ ಬೆಣ್ಣೆ ಇದಾರೆ ಪೊಗ ಬೇಡ ಮಾಡು ಮೇಕ ಕಣ್ಣೆ ಕೊನೆ ಪೊಗ ಬೇಡ ಸೊನ್ನೆ ಪೊಗ ಬೇಡ ಬೇಕಾನ ಐ ಐ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಶಕರ್ ಐ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಕಡಿ ಸಾಕರ್ ಐ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಮಾಕರ್ ಅಂಡ್ Uh, and what more you want i'll give you all these items krishna said ma i love these items so much huh? i am mad after them so keep them all ready evening i'll come back and eat them huh? said, uh, she said what are you talking kana i thought if i give you these things you would stay at home and eat and forget because the sun is very hot why do you want to go in the sun and then she thought let me tell you the actual reason why i am telling you not to go then she said yamuna nadikarayil ಎಪ್ಪೊಳುದು ಕಳ್ಳರ್ ಬಯ ಕಳ್ಳರ್ ಒಂದು ಮುನೆಯಡಿಚ ಕಲಂಗಿಡುವಾಯ್ ಕಣ್ಮಣಿಯೇ ಮಾಡು ಮೈಕ ಕಣ್ಣೆ ಮುನ್ನೆ ಪೋಹ ವೇಣ ಸೊನ್ನೆ ಪೋಹ ಬೇಡು ತಾಯೇ ತಡೆಸಲ್ಲ ದೇನೆಯೇ ಈ ಸೈಂಗ್ ಮದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೈಂಗ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ನೌ ಐಲ್ ಟೆಲ್ ದ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ವೈ ಆಮ್ ಅಫ್ರೈ ಟು ಸೆಂಡ್ ಯು ಔಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಯಮುನ ದರ್ ಕದಬ ಕಾನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಹರ್ಡ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಹೈವೇ ರಾಬರ್ಸ್ ಹೈಡಿಂಗ್ and if somebody is walking in that locality alone these fellows suddenly come out like ambushing we say you know like a gorilla or they come out and they slap and beat and attack the person and take away snatch away his property hmm? and they will run away my dear child i am very worried imagine you are walking and somebody comes and slaps and beats you you will become disoriented and bewildered and you will fall on the ground simply thinking of crying therefore i am afraid to allow you alone not to become a victim of those thieves my child he said when krishna heard it he laughed continuously gada 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 laughed and mother asked why are you laughing why are you laughing my child tell me okay now let me tell you he said what he said you know kallanukku kallan vande nane oru periya kallan kallarvada enna edicha kanda tundam aakiduven maadume kakanne ponne pogavena sonne pogavendum thaye kadai solla theriye inna what krishna say he said kallanukku kallan undu there are always thieves in this world but one thief is bigger than the other thief huh? like you know there may be smaller thief bigger thief but amongst all the thieves i am the biggest thief he said if any thief comes to attack me i will cut him into 1000 pieces mother don't worry you don't know who i am hmm? and actually krishna is not just saying he killed so many demons who okay. came so then he said don't worry mother i will quickly go and come uh, and otherwise my friends will miss me i have to go hmm? so in this way mother and uh, son uh, dialogue is very very beautiful hmm? so and in the, not only when krishna goes to different homes and steals uh, uh, butter i was telling you there is another beautiful song which says vishamakara kannan vedikai ai paatu paadi vidamdam ai atamaadi aadikoru leelai seyyam nanda gopala krishnan vishamakara kannan vishamakara kannan you know what it says you know Vishwamakaran means a naughty Krishna huh? or mischievous Krishna who delights in creating some trouble but the trouble is not trouble for others. Huh? You know what he does? He goes to home of the gopis and when he looks around no one is there he will put his hand in there. Of course the, he expects that they should keep the butter ready made I will, and they should not put any lid also on the top because sometimes gopis would put a lid like this and tie it up <laughs> with rope it will be difficult for him to open. Huh? Yeah, he is saying, Vennai paanai mooda koodadu, Vennai avan vilingi nalo kekka koodadu, Amma gitte solla koodadu, Solli vittha atta haasam thanga vannadu, Summa odu pecha kaha thirudan yandu solli vittha, Avan nai thirudan yandu solli vittha, what is saying when he goes to a house if he finds the pot you know closed he becomes angry he breaks the pot but if the pot is open he says ah well done you kept it easily accessible then when he puts his hand in the pot immediately the gopi comes uh, he will say Shh, don't make noise and don't create a scene he will tell her 
And Gopi will say, Kana, how many times you come to home and steal like this? She says. And Krishna says that, you see, you complain to everybody in Vrindavan except one person. Who is that? Who is that one person? Anybody knows? Why people we can ask? Anybody can find out the answer. Krishna says, you complain to anybody, any damn person in Braj about me, I have no problem. Only one person you should not uh, tell this. Anybody has written an answer? Yashoda. Uh, yes, that correct. Yeah. Mother is yeah. So he's saying, yes, I'm not Hey, don't tell my mother. He's saying, when I have one bring in all of Ketka Koda, if he steals butter, nobody should ask him why you're stealing. Huh? And I'm not going to don't go and tell my mother. And at, uh, in case somebody goes and complains to Yashoda, when they are going to Yashoda, he will also go there. And when they are about to tell, blah, 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 you make so much sound and hallagula that Yashoda will get distracted. <laughs> he will not allow her to complain to Yashoda, like that he will do. And then, uh, in case somebody calls him a butter thief, you will say, what, 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 you are calling me a thief? Your mother, your attai, your, ta, your grandfather, your grandmother, your whole race of people are thieves, not me, <laughs> like that he will say. Amma, amma, tata, attai, party, attani, like that. So, in this way, the gopis are coming to complain. See, one important thing to know for us, when these gopis are complaining, it is not a serious complaint. In Vrindavan, people take butter and throw at each other. Yeah, throw at each other in Vrindavan and play with butter. And it's not that it is a very costly commodity, somebody has stolen or something. One boy was asking, Sir, how can Krishna steal? Why, why is Mangagar kyo nahi kaate? Kyo chori karte? He was asking. I said, you don't know what a Leela is. Leela means, Actually, there is a very intense love of the uh, uh, elderly gopis, motherly love for Krishna. So, when Krishna steals, there is a lot of fun. Huh? Like, for example, one student was uh, sitting with his prasadam plate and there was gulab jamun, two gulab jamun floating in a vati. Hmm? His friend was sitting. So, when this boy closed his eyes, Maha prasad e govinde nama pran. So, that fellow stole the gulab jamun like this. Huh? And this boy was about to start eating. Hey, where is the gulab jamun? He asked. The other boy again bought it. Oh, okay, don't worry, it's here only. I just wanted to joke with you, he said. So there's a fun in that, is it not true? Huh? When you do like that, especially you do it with big friends, isn't it? Like once uh, when we went for Yatra, two boys went to, they were, they were very thick friends, they were going. So one of the boys purchased two boxes of Sonbabdi, you know, in Giraj Suites, big boxes. So his friend said, hey, thank you very much. He asked like that. He said, hey, no, no, you do it. Like that he said. And the other friend laughed it up. Then on the, the, after one week when we were returning from Dhawan, both of them were packing their luggage. The other boy, the second boy, he found the box in his suitcase. Then he asked him, hey, my suitcase is coming from my suitcase. He asked him, how did it come to my suitcase? The friend said, are you a fool? It, I purchased for you only. Tumare kare data, he said. So then why did he speak lies? Just for joke huh, with a friend. So there is fun. Hmm? If the relationship is not so thick, what will happen? If he purchases two boxes, friend will ask, you know, you have two boxes, you know, is one for me or, uh, uh, or if you want, I'll give you the money, exact money. Tell me, is it 200 rupees or 300 rupees? I'll give you. That is a formal relationship. There is no fun in that, isn't it? Similarly, stealing butter is a funny activity for Krishna and Vrindavan. And there is this way, the Vatsalya uh, relationship comes out in Vrindavan. So sweet, uh, pastimes of Krishna. You can, you can understand how the Lord deals with his devotees huh? intimately. See, here is another pastime you are seeing here. One Krishna is asking permission from Mother Yashoda and Rohini. So Rohini is Balram's mother hmm? and Yashoda is Krishna's mother. Now he's asking, Mama, can I go and play with my friends? Yashoda is telling, Beda, Deko, you can go, but you have to be back for lunch at one o'clock. You will come back? Said, Definitely. Why will he not come? I am promising you. <laughs> God promise. <laughs> he can say God promise because he is only God. <laughs> Who else can ask him any question? <laughs> so then they allowed him. So he went to play. Now you are seeing him play. Sorry, he, he, here you see him playing. It is strange. Balram on one side and Krishna on the other side. They play varieties of games. They are enjoying you know, uh, Leela by playing games. But the game became more and more intense and enjoyable for them. It brought his figure one o'clock, it became two o'clock. Mm -hmm. Yeshoda told uh, Rohini, hey, Rohini getting late? These boys are not coming? You go and find out what is happening, call them. Uh, so, so she went to call. Uh, I'll just show you that word. Mm -hmm. I'll show you the Srimad Bhagavatam, beautiful word.
So, first uh, she will go, uh, Rohini will go, uh, but then, uh, you know, Krishna, Balram was telling Krishna, hey, Kana, the mother has come, she wants us to come, we have to go now. Huh? So, Krishna asked, who has come? He said, Mother Rohini has come to take us. Huh? So, when he heard, he said, oh, Rohini mother has come, no worry, continue playing. He said, she's very soft-natured. Huh? He can go on playing. So Krishna went on playing. And Rohini went back and told Yashoda, You see, Yashoda, I don't have so much love like you for the children. You go and bring them. If you call, definitely these fellows will come immediately. She said. So then Yashoda went. She's calling here, I show you. This is the verse. Do you see here? Krishna Krishna Aramindakshatata Yehisanam Piba Alam Vihare Krukshanta Krida Shantosi Putraka. Two times she's calling in great ecstasy. Krishna Krishna. Out of love. Aravindaksha means, uh, oh, Nainon Kitare, uh, oh, darling of my eye, apple of my eye, uh, oh, darling, like this she's calling. Uh, come home, drink your milk. Alam uh, Krishanta, enough of your playing. How long are you playing, my child? Uh, since morning, you must be very tired due to hunger and tired due to playing. Do you think uh, both children are tired due to playing and hunger? Uh, see, you all have experience in summer vacation when you play. Parents come to call you, you don't feel like going at all. Krita huh? Shrantosi, you must have become tired of playing, she is saying. But Krishna never got tired at all. Huh? He wanted to go on playing. Out of love, she thought like that. Huh? And she is saying, Hey Rama Gacha Tatashu, Sanu Jakkulanandana. Hey Kulanandan, the glory of our dynasty. Hey Rama, Balaram, Agacha, please come, my darling. She is calling. But don't come alone. Sa Anuja Kulanandana, she is telling. Sa Anuja means catch the hand of your brother Krishna and bring him because I am not able to get him. You get him. If I go to catch his hand, he will run away. So you catch his hand and Sa Anuja Kulanandana, bring him also. Pratar Eva Krita Haras Tadbhaman Bhaktumarhati. You guys ate in the morning, light breakfast. Now lunch must be, must be very hungry for lunch now. Please come and take, like that she is telling. How sweetly she is welcoming, you see. Eh? And then. And then she is telling uh, that you are, uh, uh, Nanda Baba is waiting uh, for both of you. Unless you come, he won't eat, she is saying. Uh, and then she is telling, Pratikshate tvam dasarhi bhokshamano prajadipaha Yekhya vayo priyam dehi svagrihan yadavalakaha You guys come to our home and eat prasad. All the boys will go to their respective homes and then come back for playing again. And after coming, you can always come back and play very nicely again, my children. Uh, and then she is telling, Dhuli du saritangastvam putramad janam avaha jan marksham tedya bhavati viprebhyo dehi gashu chihi She is telling that, look at your uh, dress, Krishna. Uh, she is telling that, look at your body. Your dress is uh, covered with dust of the raj. raj uh, look at your friends, how neatly they are dressed. Sometimes what happens with children, uh, if you compare and tell them, hey, look at your friends, they are wearing shoes. You, you are wearing barefoot, you have no shoes. Definitely, she's telling Krishna, look at your friends, they are all wearing clean dresses, they are wearing nice, it's all Angradan, they are all decorated with their, uh, you know, uh, nice ornaments. You also, my child, come home, take bath, wear nice ornaments, eat your food, and come back and play. She's telling, what is the problem? And Janmakshtam, today is Janmakshtam, she's telling, all the Brahmanas are waiting for you, they, they, you have to give them dan, charity of cows. Uh, please come, she's calling. Uh, now she's telling, Pascha Pascha Vayasyam Ste Matram Rishtan Swala Alankratan. By their own mothers, they have been decorated so beautifully, my child. See them. Tom Chasnata Krita Haro Vikaraswa Swala You also decorate yourself very well after taking bath and eating food and come home and come back and play, she's telling. Uh, and then. Boys are not. They said, How beloved? What is that? It is the head of a lion and it's ferocious. She said, Really? We have never seen such a kind of thing like that. Uh, the, uh, she said, uh, They said. And then she told, Yes. And the favorite delicacy for this animal is 
small boys like all of you. Any time it will come, all of you boys, you play games, no problem. If all of comes, take care, she said. The boy said, okay. And then she stood behind. After a few minutes, suddenly Yashoda shouted with her two eyes dilated. She said, how below? She shouted and everybody ran to their homes. And Krishna Balram caught hold of Yashoda's two hands on either side and caught hold of her sari also. And Yashoda ran and both boys came. That is what he said in this verse. Yetam Yashoda tamashesha shekharam matva sutam sneha nivadha dhirnrapa haste grihitva saharam amachutam nitva svapatam kritavatya todayam. Here he says here, in this way Yashoda, wanted to bathe the body of uh, her child Krishna, whose body was always clean and shining like a nail money. Hmm? And Matvasutam, she considered him her own son. Sneha Nipadda Deerdrupa, her intelligence and mind was flooded with a bhava of uh, Vatsalya Bhava, of uh, love for her child. Haste hmm? Grihitva, she caught her with her hands. She caught Krishna on one side and Balrama on the other side. Haste Grihitva, Saha Rama Machitam. Rama is Balrama, Achitam is Krishna. And what she did? Nitvasvavatam. She took them back home. See, generally we all want to go back home, back to Godhead. But Yashoda brought Godhead back home. She did the reverse. She brought Krishna and Balram to home. <laughs> back. After they came home, she put the big door, closed it, and bathed them, dressed them, decorated them, made them sit with Nanda Baba, and served the prasad. And Kana asked Balram, Baya, how will I kya? He asked. Balram said, Haan, how will I ask? No, no, I'm asking what you have seen. He asked. Balram said, Maa ne bola na? He said, Mother told, no? He said, Kana said, Oh, that's okay, but you have seen what you have seen. He asked. Balram said, I haven't seen it, but Maa ne bola na? He said, 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 Maa ne bola na? How will have come or not come, you all have come now. Shanti se kao bhi. She said. So, you can see the Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna behaves like an ignorant child in the home of Yashoda Ananda Bhavan. Simply to increase the joy of his devotees, Yashoda Ananda and all her friends. He performs his Vatsala Rasa pastimes. So, when you all come for the next class, I will speak the Madhurya Rasa pastimes of Krishna with the gopis of Vrindavan, which is most misunderstood, you know, by, by many people in this world. So that's a very, very important section. And uh, now you understood Vatsala Rasa as well as Sakya Rasa, you understood. So Madhuri Rasa, we will do it in the next class. Okay? Shail Prabhupada ki. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. You would like to a little bit summarize. You told initially, Prabhuji, you told us that how demigods glorify Krishna, and very nicely you gave many references which we hadn't heard before. Then uh, you shared that how everything which Lord do is beautiful: sleeping, dancing, smiling, walking, anything. And in this world, we have motivated love, but our goal of life, everyone's goal of life, is to awaken our love for Krishna. So this you told, then uh, the difference between Bhag Bhagavad Sanghi and Stri Sanghi, very nicely you told that uh, if we uh, have association with Stri Sanghi, then we will degrade more even than the, more dangerous than even the Stri or woman. Uh, similarly, on the other hand, we can develop love more faster if we have association of a devotee of Krishna. And very nicely later you told about the uh, Andal example that how feeling of separation from Lord is actually the highest form of worship and uh, the devotee do not want anything else just bhakti and later you explained very nicely the Sakya Rasa and the Vatsalya Rasa. Thank you Prabhuji for also uh, taking out your time and wonderfully explaining to all of us this uh, divine knowledge about Supreme Lord. So let us thank Prabhuji by loudly chanting one time Haribo! So, so for all of you, tomorrow.